Hey guys, Adriano Preskitty from Large Real Estate. Welcome to my latest listing. I'm in Craigie Burton again today, number seven at six. Alston Wick Way, this double story refreshed townhome, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Don't forget, like, share, tag somebody in this place that may be interested. I know you'll be excited to come and check it out. It's just about to start raining. It's actually almost a sun shower. So let's go through. You might be able to, that's the thunder in the background. So we're getting inside. So I just want to show you this little development here. Um, what we've done, obviously, the owners have allowed me to, as I always like to do, give the townhome a refresh and I'll explain as we go through. But this is the home here. So you get single car access, remote control access, plus there is an extra car spot over there that you actually can park on. So there's technically two uh, car spots uh, off street as George is panning over there. You get a beautiful view uh, of the river, which you'll get when you come up here. So you got a nice little timber deck here, which is really cool. We've gone and sanded it back, repainted it to make it nice, neat, and ready for the next person to come through. And then we're gonna actually pause a little bit because it's a little bit wet. I know George is gonna say, yeah, we'll just, just go in, but I just wanna show you. So welcome home. So as you enter, full corridor that takes you through to the lounge zone, but I actually wanna show you. So initially I said three bedrooms, two bathrooms. It's actually not quite two bathrooms. So it's three bed, one bathroom. There's a powder room downstairs, but there's also a little study area, which is really cool. Now, yes, it is the size of a study. So you really can't use this as a bedroom. However, nursery or single bedroom, you could easily do. And also a study, a sitting room. You actually, you know, for what the space is, is actually pretty cool. The other cool thing I love is you get loads of natural light and we'll show you here. So you get nice views of the river that runs through as well. So it's got a bit of a parkland feel, which is kind of cool. We've also gone and replaced the carpet. So throughout the home, you'll actually see beautiful, my favorite color, my charcoal carpets, very in at the moment. Um, they're really nice and plush, so to make it feel nice and special. Through this way, into this room here, um, there is a downstairs laundry. So in relation to the laundry itself, there's nothing uh, really special about it, but again, to add value in that space, you could deck it out, shelve it, bench top space, you can shove it up the top. There's plenty of, um, or add a cupboard to the side as well. So there's plenty of things that you could do to the laundry. We're gonna keep coming through. Um, downstairs powder room, so there are two toilets. One bathroom, but two toilets. So um, as you can see, powder room, vanity there, which is great. The other thing you'll notice as we go through, beautiful, nice, bright LED lights. So we've gone and replaced the old uh, yucky halogen lights to much more energy efficient halogen lights as well. Now these stairs lead upstairs, okay? Actually, no, we'll go through. We'll do the back, we're gonna do it reverse like I normally do. So it is double story. We're gonna take you upstairs to the sleeping quarter. So the cool thing up here is it's segregated away from the downstairs lounge zone. You've got a nice little landing area here and all the bedrooms are actually really spacious. But I wanna show you this one first. So bedroom number one. The cool thing about this room is it's massive. So in relation to trying to figure out which one's the master, I'll leave that up to you. Now, this one probably is because it does have the balcony and it does this beautiful doorway that actually leads you outside. Now it is, oh, it's actually all right. It's not raining there. You'll actually see it uh, as it starts to rain. So you get a nice little view here. River that runs through. You've got a bike trail here as well. Again, really nice. You can sit out here in the morning. Have, oh, I'm gonna get out of the way there. Have a nice coffee. Have a wine at the end of the day. The choice is yours. Nice timber door there, which I really think is really cool. And again, really good space up here. So you'll notice the bedroom sizes are actually massive. So really big queen size bed, just to show you the amount of space that this room actually does have. And because of this, oh, it's a beautiful rainbow in the sky. Uh, you get loads of natural light. We have fitted new block out blinds as well throughout. So you'll see them throughout the property as well. The, the home has had a really good makeover, ready for the new purchaser or investor to move in or get it straight on the market. Service by a central bathroom. Oh, I, I'll go in the bathroom. I was debating on whether to go in or not. Um, but there's the bathroom, picture frame is a little bit crooked. So, vanity, nothing, no frills with this one. Vanity to the side, toilet, shower, okay? This again, if you're wanting to add value, if you're wanting to move in here, it is the original bathroom. You could always do that. We have changed the taps. That's a new tap fitting, new handles as well on the vanity. But again, if you wanted to add value in this room, you could. Your lights, that's what we've done. 
and you've got bedrooms two and three off this way. So through this way, guys, bedroom number two, again, they're all massive, okay? Very spacious rooms, okay? They do have frosted glass on this side and that's more for overlooking purposes. So you'll see that, but again, loads of night lateral light that comes in, block out lines again, really good floor space. Again, we've set up a little micro desk. You could easily fit one over here because there's a little bit obviously of an alcove. This room's fitted with a split system, okay? So you've got split system, heating and cooling in this room. Okay, now that would do the majority of upstairs and it's almost like a semi walk-in robe. Again, which is pretty unique. So you've got shelf space on the left, hanging space on the right. Again, really quirky, which I actually quite like. So bedroom number two, and then bedroom number three, through here guys, again, a massive room. Like when you come in here, like you think to yourself, holy, what the hell is, this is a lot bigger than a normal three bedroom townhouse. This here, you could easily have as your master. It is massive and check out the floor plan, which you'll see online. Um, but again, really spacious room. You've got loads of space over here. Like look at the space in this room. It's, it's insane. Very, very big, very spacious. Again, light filled. If you're wanting to uh, maneuver this room around, you know, wanting to set up a nice big desk area, chest of drawers, whatever the case may be, you can still have a queen size, king size, super king in this room with still plenty of space, which again, mind blows me how big this room actually is. Flipping around, so it's got exactly the same as it was, um, I'll flip around there. So it's got exactly the same as it was in the other room. So you've got shelf space over here and you've got hanging space over here, okay? So it's like a semi walk in which, Again, I find pretty quirky. So that's upstairs. Now we're gonna finish off downstairs. I'm gonna show you the lounge, kitchen, dining zone, as well as the outdoor. So you get a good sense of everywhere that's around. So as we're coming down the stairs, guys, you do have internal access into your remote control garage. So that's obviously through here. I've actually parked my car in there today because it was raining. Um, but just to show you, it is remote control access. You do have access around the other side to the back as well. Uh, and this is your kitchen, meals, and dining zone. So kitchen, meals, and lounge zone, what am I saying? We're gonna start off in the kitchen as we always do. The one thing that you'll notice in this kitchen is quite wide, so quite spacious to be able to work, cook, and multitask in this kitchen, which I really, really love. Some of the features that you're gonna pick up, yes, the pendant lighting, so we've installed new pendant lighting, just to give it a modern twist, okay? There is, Bench space as well, which acts as a breakfast bar. And yes, we have gone and replaced new sink, new tapware, okay? Just to make it nice and modern and clean, okay? Now, in relation to the kitchen benches themselves, laminate kitchen, it's the original kitchen. So if you're wanting to add value and you wanted to change the bench tops to stone or whatnot, you could easily do that. It does come with four burner gas cooktop. Now, I always do this. And I reckon I've switched off the gas here, I have here. So anyway, it does work. Four gas burner cooktop, electric oven. Okay, so they're the original appliances. Again, if you wanted to add value, you could easily do that. Dishwasher over here. Okay. So again, really functional space. You've got pantry tucked around in this corner, through there. Cupboard space up the top and below. And you've also got the fridge cavity through here. So obviously this will fit in most standard fridges these days. But again, a really good functional space. Now that obviously flows through to your dining zone. Uh, and you've got a really good sized dining area here. So this table fits perfectly in this space. Six seater, you could fit eight seater, you could fit a round. Round table will go really, really cool in this space. Or a nice big square table would work really, really well if you've got a bigger family or you like to entertain. Uh, you could fit a buffet on the side. Again, really, really... Uh, open space to do with what you want. Obviously there is a lip here, so you could easily act this as a breakfast bar, so you can chuck some stools down here. You could easily comfortably fit four or five stools down here. It's that long, this bench, okay? And then that flows through to your lounge zone. Okay, so it's open plan, kitchen, dining, and lounge zone. Again, really nice space. Very much you can maneuver it as you will. So obviously we've separated it from here to separate the different zones. But if you're wanting to put the couches on this way or that wall or the other wall, you can actually do that in this space, which I think is really, really cool. The added feature of the panel window here is quite nice because it actually does let in natural light during the day. Obviously this area is fitted with split system. It is the original system, guys. 
As you can see there, it does work, but if you're wanting to upgrade it, you could. And the other feature downstairs you'll see, obviously, is the central uh, heating, which is actually behind us right here. Uh, it's actually behind us right here, so as you can see there. So you've got the central heating system right there. And then we're gonna finish off outside. So, other thing, screen door, okay, which again is great to leave it open on a night like tonight, or maybe not on a night like tonight because it's actually raining. But you'll actually see outside, this is the, one of the most low maintenance courtyards that you'll see. It is green, but this is all artificial grass, guys. So the owners have gone artificial grass everywhere to make it extremely low maintenance, okay? All you're gonna need to do is blow away the leaves that fall down, pluck out some weeds that pop up, and that's pretty much it, okay? Really good space. There is an area here, as we've set up, as a little patio zone. If you're wanting to add value here, again, I mean, lots of people extend out, cover the area, make a deck here to make it the same level to elongate your indoor space. But again, you could do that. Uh, we've installed new uh, fold-out retractable clothesline as well. So that's also brand new. Daytech, Aussie company there. Up that way, you've got access through to the garage. And that's pretty much it, instantaneous. Oh, that's probably the only other thing to mention. Other cool things, so the owners actually did that not too long ago. Um, so instantaneous gas hot water system as well, which I actually think is really, really cool. So no big bulky system anymore. Uh, and that's it. So that's the home, guys. Um, as you saw, it's a really awesome, ready to move in home. There's nothing left to do in this property but move in and enjoy. This one's just about to hit the market. It will be on the market. Uh, before Christmas, it'll be, be, be able to obviously purchase it before Christmas. Not sure if you'll be able to settle in, in time before Christmas, but definitely something to settle into the new year. It's an amazing home, ready to move in. It's going to cater to a wide range of people, whether you're a first home buyer, whether you're a downsizer, a young professional couple, investor, this is the type of unit. And the entry point to get into the area, uh, it's perfect. It's going to be priced relative to the area and it's really good entry level real estate to get your foot in the market especially for first home buyers so hopefully you enjoyed the tour guys i know it was a little bit longer than i normally do for townhomes but there was a lot to say and i just wanted to make sure that you covered off everything all those points um, that i wanted to get through to you to impress you enough to come in through and check it out because that's what it's all about so as i said guys thanks very much for taking the time don't forget as always like share or tag someone in this post that may be interested i promise i'll get to see this property before it hits the market Alternatively, if you like any further information about this home or any of our homes, don't forget, jump on our social media, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or subscribe to our YouTube channel, which I would, gives you this property and access to a range of real estate things. Um, alternatively, you can give me a call directly um, for information about this property, or if you're thinking of selling your own home, I'm happy to help right around Melbourne, not necessarily Craigieburn, but we sell right around Melbourne and surrounds. My number is 0402 055 Thanks for taking the time, guys, and, and taking a tour, and I can't wait to meet you at one of our open homes. Thanks.